no matter where you are in industry, we're gonna actually help you. We're gonna partner together and help you rise levels in 2026. So every single week, I want you guys to challenge me. I want you to bring the hardest questions, things that nobody's able to answer. When you lay in bed at night and you think about opening your own shop or building this crazy cell or dealing with customer problems, when you're thinking about those, come to the comments, ask me the questions, and then in the following week or weeks to come, I will actually answer those questions. And if I don't have the answer, I will find the answer, and then I'll come back, we'll have a conversation about it, so you can absorb it, take it in, then take your career or company to the next level. Challenge me, there's a lot of people that talk about CNC machining, but, but let's get real, let's get deep, and let's challenge ourselves with the hard questions. What's the most expensive mistakes machinists or owners can make when they finally land a SpaceX or Blue Origin level customer? I mean, by just mentioning those two names right there, you know that you just went to a super high level. And with that level comes complexity. There's a lot of money involved. There's, there's the material. Instead of dealing with raw material that might be just a few dollars per piece, now you're on a level where you're dealing with material that's $1,000 per piece, $5,000 per piece, $150 per piece. And, and that escalates everything. And then you have the complexity in machining. You have the different types of plating that comes into it. You can buy all the material, you can machine this crazy complex part or series of parts, then you can send it to the anodizer and the anodizer can scrap it. And guess what? All your money is gone and that can absolutely sink a company. But if you have a crazy process and you have great vendors and you document the entire process and you have great workers and machinists that actually go right through step by step and inspection and everything is dialed, then you can actually make some crazy money because there's very few companies that are on that level that can repeat that type of work. And, and when you get to that level and that reputation, you will be incredibly busy and you'll be able to charge the money for those parts. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that happens also is when you quote the work, the person quoting the work will look at the process, will look at how much time is involved, will look at how much material is needed, they'll look at the plating and they'll look at the tooling and fixturing and all of it, but they'll underestimate the amount of inspection and, and the sheer fact that now you've stepped into a realm where once you're at plus or minus one, you go to 100% inspection on every single feature and that takes time. And no matter how good you are, no matter if you have the greatest relationship with the customer, if you don't machine the parts to spec, then they're scrap and then the customer will not give you more work and then you're out a huge amount of money and that can sink your company. So make sure when you quote jobs and you say you can do something that you can actually do it in the amount of time specified. What is one of the most difficult parts about building a great company that I have never talked about on camera before? With thousands of videos, something that I have not talked about before, that you will outgrow people. That would be one of the most difficult parts about building a company, building a team, about setting a vision and, and pushing forward to actually achieve everything necessary to achieve the vision. And especially with this company, the vision is to touch as many people and bring awareness to as many people as possible. Now, when I started out, I was a machine shop and that's all I was. Then I had to talk to my team and say, hey, we're gonna actually do a TV series on high level CNC machining and bring awareness to the trade. And, and this was the concept, like let's do a TV show. Everyone watches TV and then the internet popped up and it's like, now we can talk to people online every single day. And then the company kept changing and adjusting. So today, the vision is vast, it's great. We are an absolute powerhouse when it comes to CNC machining education, the biggest in the world with 700,000 students. When I started, I could have never envisioned that. When people started with me, they had no idea. As I said, on levels, doors keep opening. And of course, God keeps speaking to you and your vision adjusts because you don't actually know where the destination is. But as you move forward and you're obedient, 
the doors keep opening and then you use your gut and your knowledge to actually figure out the right path forward. Now it's been incredibly tough because at the beginning I had many great people, but what I've learned is a lot of people are there for a season. So I try to bless them during that season, but not everyone's gonna have the same vision as you. They're not gonna have the same like tenacity as you. They're not willing to walk through fire to get to a vision that is not their vision. They might just want to make parts and spend as much time doing whatever they want to do on the weekends as possible. And that's fine. But to get here, we need to keep progressing. And we need to make sure that we have people that can grow with the company that want to progress their knowledge because I'm not good enough to be here. I'm good enough to be where we are now, but I had to reinvent myself many times to get to here. Now, and I'm not good enough for here yet. So one of the most difficult things is to lead and, and pull your people forward. But at the same time, as you do that, you have to look around and find out who is not fit to actually go there and who is there for a season. And then you have to make those separations, whether you let them go or they leave. If you try to force them into your vision and you try to force them to do something that's not natural to them, then they will resent you for it. So that's one of the biggest things for me. One of the hardest things is that you will outgrow people. All right, now that you see the type of questions that we have, I want you guys to challenge us and bring different types of questions. So a lot of these questions happen to be about ownership and leadership and companies competing and, and machinists, but it doesn't have to be that. Anything in industry is up for grabs. So if you're a machinist and you wanna know about taps versus thread milling and about the like GH values and, and different things, then ask me the question. If you wanna know about speeds and feeds for different materials and, and how to progress into super alloys, then ask me about that. You can ask me technical questions, you can ask me leadership questions, you can ask me personal Personal questions ask me about my company about my reinvention about all of it and how I actually got here so you can actually take what you hear absorb it and use it in your own lives to rise levels and I was thinking this series is cool and 2026 is about rising levels no matter where you are so I thought you know what let's name this series levels answering the hard questions so make sure you put your comments below and hit the subscribe button